Welcome back to channel everyone in this video I'm going to talk about how you can work with power automate delete trigger for SharePoint list item as well as your document library. So as you can see I have this uh, user request list what I want is every time a user delete any item from this list I will get an email notifications with detail that who has deleted what file has been deleted. So let's just talk about how we can do this. I'll go in Power Automate and try to create an automated cloud flow. Skip this step. Name my flow as a item deleted trigger. And trigger will be SharePoint. Here you can uh, search for uh, deleted. You get two options. So in my case, I'm doing this for uh, when an item is deleted. This is for SharePoint list and my site name is you can see elon tech 70 so i'll go here select from drop down or you can if you're not getting option in drop down you can enter your custom value as well here the url once you have that list name i have to select that is user request and next step what i have to do is i will simply go create a compose statement here And in the compose you can either select these individually or either you can directly select the body item if you want to uh, you know customize the layout you can select them manually or you can uh, otherwise select body it will get all this data which you are able to see here so once i have that i will uh, go and send email you can see email v2 and i will send it to myself subject will be item deleted and I will put ID which item deleted as well as name of that item which is deleted and here I will put the output of compose save this one once my flow is saved I will go to my list and try to delete this uh, hardware issue item or I will delete both the item all right my list is blank now and now i'll wait this workflow to run and meanwhile we can create the same flow for our document library as well so that uh, i can show you both the example so i will again select sharepoint and i will search for the trigger deleted and this time i will select when a file is deleted sharepoint site will be same and the library name will be changed this time user docs i'll just uh, confirm so this is user data sorry select the user data i do not have any folder if you have a specific folder you can select that particular folder where you want to apply this but in my case i'm applying this to document library itself and next step again same things i will just write compose here body of this one again you see the same thing appearing here as well the individual item and uh, I will uh, send an email here as well here I will say file deleted file uh, name directly and here I will put the output and just save this flow as well and now in this uh, as you can see the flow is saved now in the document library i will try to delete one or two document together to see item has been deleted there is only one left and in the user request the list is blank i will wait both the workflow to run and then showcase you one by one now as you can see my flow runs successfully and here you are seeing the two trigger because i've deleted two list item and if i go to any specific one you will see that uh, in send email it has uh, sent me all the data and in the compose as you can see it is sending me the id name file name with extensions deleted by username time deleted and his folder as well so i'll go to my uh, outlook as you can see the item deleted email i got and it sent me id name file name with extensions deleted by username who deleted and the time deleted as well 
and it's giving the last one is folder false means it's not a folder and same things for the other one so you can see there is a different id for both the list item that i got and uh, same case we will check for the uh, file as well and one thing to notice here that you can see that it is not giving you the actual content inside of that uh, item it is giving you this journal data what is the id name of that particular item not all the field that uh, you might require by default you do not have that functionality as of now into power automate but uh, how you can secure your uh, sharepoint list and uh, you know if you do not want someone to delete anything from your list item how you can do that so as you can now see that i got an emails for uh, the file as well the file i have deleted you can see it is giving the same kind of data id name deleted by username time deleted is folder not so i deleted two file it is giving me the same data if you are the owner of this particular sharepoint list or library and uh, the purpose is to give you a notification that someone has deleted something so you can directly connect with that user if you want to revoke that particular file there is an option in recycle bin that user can go and can restore that particular data if you go in your uh, site content uh, let's suppose i have deleted so i go into my recycle bin you can see the two list item and the two file is there i can select all and restore them so that is the one workaround of this one it is not uh, the actual solution i would say if i go to my user data now you can see all the file revoked here the two one which i've deleted and in the user request as well you can see both the list item has been revoked so this is one of the things that you can do if you think that uh, someone has deleted something and you need that immediately back so you can connect with them and you can ask them to restore uh, the item they has deleted so once the item is deleted from the recycle bin also you cannot revoke that obviously and the second thing is that uh, if there is a requirement that you do not want user to delete anything from your sharepoint list or either from your sharepoint library so you can apply the permission restriction you want them to upload do not want them to delete as well so you can apply that as well by going to your uh, uh, you know either site permissions or either your list setting so at the site permissions level either you can uh, create a new role if you go here in the permissions level these are the current role where you can see design edit and contribute has delete access as well so if you want to create a role where you want user to add update but do not delete so in that case you can create a permissions level and here you can check the boxes you can keep unchecking the delete item box and you, you can name your new permissions level and in your uh, list setting you can go to the uh, permission for this list stop inheriting permission this way and uh, can delete all these uh, members owners permission and can in the grant permissions you can only allow to that specific group to able to see the data of your uh, list or library so that way you can also manage you have uh, options available there i hope you like this video if you do like don't forget to subscribe down on tech thank you so much for watching